Hey up guys, I'm SSC here and today is Coventry City at home. The final day of the season of what has been, I think overall, a good campaign. We've shown we can compete at the top of the league, although we did drop off over Christmas. Disappointing, but again, like I say, it shows we can compete up there. Coventry today, who have pretty much followed a similar trajectory to us this season, started off really well, tailed off a little bit. Um, obviously they did beat us at their place one goal to nil earlier on in the season. I'll be doing a season review where we just go over the whole season because I think there's a lot to dissect um, in the probably next week. Before we get started I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone for the support throughout the season. It's been an enjoyable season to, to follow, it's, it's just been really nice to be back in the grounds and hopefully this last vlog will be a good one before we get off to end the season. But yeah, without further ado, let's get in the grounds, come on Stoke. Team news is in, four changes from the loss at Middlesbrough last week. Nick Powell comes in for his first start since injury, had a really good cameo last week. Morgan Fox, Sam Klukas come in as well. And finally, Tom Sparrow deservedly making his debut today. I would have liked to have seen him a little bit more in action this season, but beggars can't be choosers. It's good to see him come in for this final game. He's been really impressive for the under-23s. He's been fantastic, almost a revelation since he's been moved to right wing back. Speaking of the under-23s, Emre Tesco comes in on the bench as well, who obviously had two good cameos uh, early on in the FA Cup. I'm going to go 2-0 and someone's going to score a random screamer. Probably Nick Powell, so I'm going to go Nick Powell and Sam Klukas to get one. Come on, Stoke.
Half time, one all. Lucas made the goal just before half time. Good build up. Um, a bit lucky, but we'll take them how they come. Um, Coventry's goal early on. Uh, Gokker has got it. Really poor defending from Morgan Foxman. In particular, burst. It could have been a bit tighter to his near post as well. Wasn't the best goal for them. Um, but no, there's definitely another goal in this. Coventry have been dangerous coming forward. I think we, we should probably be behind. Um, we started really well, and then the moment that, that Coventry came forward, it's almost like in a boxing match when you feel the first punch, you, you sort of start to panic. It all changed from there. It was pretty much all Coventry up until our goal, so uh, yeah. We've not been great. Always time for a change, so uh, yeah. Let's go to the second half. Come on, Stan. It's going to be an in-swinger from Baker, powers off, but he doesn't win it though, falls to Crookers on the edge of the box, who gets the ball, taken off in my open air. Now we've got Perez, going back on the Sparrow, who gets King down the left, he's got to take four Round one all draw. I think overall, I think we take that. Um, Coventry are a good side. They've displayed that on many occasions this season. Obviously, they beat us um, earlier on in the season. Uh, Klukas's goal was good. Um, really good move, like I said. In the second half, nothing really opened up too much. Um, there was a couple of chances here and there, uh, but I can't really recall um, us forcing Coventry into any. Um, real danger, probably just the just the one where Timon drifted through. Burst it made a couple of good saves in the second half. 
Tom Sparrow deserves a mention as well. I thought on his debut he was tremendous um, and someone I would like to see feature a lot more next season. But with that, the season is over. I think overall, I think it's been a good campaign. I think when people started the season, I think would have taken, you know, finishing 12-13. I mean, with the context of it, it, it's disappointing looking back, thinking of the great start we had, especially when we beat West Brom uh, in October. But no, I think there's definitely been some positives from this season. I think the rise of Josh Timon and Jacob Brown in particular have put us in really good stead heading into, into next season. So I'm really looking forward to next season. I, I honestly, I, I could have it starting tomorrow. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with myself over the summer, but there we go. Again, I just want to say a massive thank you for all the support over the, the season. Um, I've really enjoyed putting these together and I really do appreciate all the kind words. But um, yeah, a couple of uh, videos lined up, a couple of end of season videos, but it should be a good fun. Hope you have enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Come on, Stoke.